Aloha my friends, Christina here, and I'm so happy to be back in a new video with you today to answer the question, is the new Hiram H310 the same as the Nama J2 juicer? I have been getting so many requests to do a comparison between both of these juicers. There's quite a big buzz in the juicing world happening right now because Hiram just released their new H310 and it looks exactly like the Nama J2 juicer. Now, this being said, if you've seen any of the promotional materials going around via Hiram, it's really difficult to tell in the marketing that there is actually a big difference between these two juicers. There are six main differences between both of these juicers that I'm gonna be talking about today. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Christina. I have been a raw vegan for over 17 years now and I've been juicing for many of those years. If you've seen any of my YouTube videos, I have made and shared so many juicing recipes. Juicing is a huge part of what I do. I actually just finished hosting a five-day juice reset for my community and it was amazing. I encourage people to incorporate more juicing into their daily routines and it's absolutely essential for me to have a good juicer in my home because I'm always creating a lot of juices. I'm always batch juicing and I'm bulk juicing six to eight jars at a time, not just because I'm doing a juice feast, but because I love having an abundance of healthy juices in my home. I don't like spending a lot of time juicing. I like for it to be quick and easy and fun and I do not like to spend a lot of time cleaning my juicer. My preference is always to use the machine that gives me the most bang for my buck. And essentially, to share with you which one that I think has the most value, the one that's easiest to use, and the one that might be easiest for you to use in the kitchen, because if it's easy for you to use, then you will be more inspired to incorporate juicing into your daily routine more. If it's too complicated, if it's too messy, if it's a hassle, you might buy the juicer, but essentially you probably won't end up using it as much as you think you will. Juicing has to be easy and fun in order for you to want to do it. Otherwise, you simply won't do it. And I know this from having experienced this in my own life and from having coached so many people through this process. Also, before we get started, I wanna say I just unboxed the Hiram H310 and I noticed that there was no container for the pulp. And I actually can't figure out if there was not supposed to be one. I looked online and in all the pictures, they actually don't show the containers, so I can't figure that out right now. Well, I do wanna say I am a huge fan of the Nama J2 juicer. I've been using it in my kitchen and I love it. That being said, this is going to be a strictly faxed base comparison. Just looking at both of these juicers, you can see that they are two different sizes. This is very difficult to see in any of the marketing that's happening. In a photo, both of these look like exactly the same size. This is a 35 to 40 ounce container, whereas this one is a 20 to max 30 ounce container. After creating a comparison between both of these juicers, I have to say I am still a J2 Nama juicer fan, and I prefer this juicer over any other juicer. And that is coming from someone who has been juicing for 17 years, who's been living a raw vegan lifestyle for 17 years and who has broken every juicer in the books. For those of you looking to get a new juicer, I've included a link for the Nama J2 below and you can use the code FULLYRAW55 to get $55 off this juicer. That's the biggest discount that they offer and I've put that link in the description below for you. I have six main important feature points that I'd like to share with you today. Let's jump in. I've already pointed out the biggest difference, which is size. That being said, the hopper on top of the H310 is half the size of the Nama J2 juicer. Why is that significant? That's actually the biggest point that I can think of to first mention to you because when you are trying to juice something, anything at all, how much you're able to fit into the hopper matters a lot. You can only fit approximately one apple in here or one ingredient at a time. Whereas with the J2 Nama juicer, you can fit in a whole recipe at a time. This hopper will only yield you approximately maybe five, six, seven ounces of juice. Whereas the Nama J2 juicer is meant 
to juice an entire recipe and you can yield up to 16 or more ounces per full hopper of juice. That's a significant difference. So takeaway points number one and two are that the H310 hopper is half the size of the Nama J2 juicer hopper and you can only fit in approximately one ingredient at a time into this smaller hopper versus fitting in an entire recipe at a time with the Nama J2 juicer. This leads me to my next point, which is with this juicer being smaller and the hopper being smaller, you will have to continuously load the juicer, which will take you more time to juice. Whereas with the Nama J2, I can load in a whole recipe, a whole pineapple at one time, walk away, and when I come back, uh, the juicer is full of juice. That's not opinion based, that's just facts. Also, the motor on the H310 appears to be a weaker motor, which can lead to more jamming of the fruits and the vegetables as they're processing through your juicer. This can cause you to have to take apart your juicer more times when you're juicing to reset it, put it back together and start juicing again, which can eat up more of your time. That's an important point here because it means that this juicer is ideally not the best for batch juicing. Now, in most case scenarios, most people might not consider batch juicing to be an important thing. Some people might just want one small glass of juice in the morning, and if that's the case, this is a great compact juicer to have. But for someone like me, who really loves to batch juice, two, three, four, sometimes 10 jars of juice at a time, I need a juicer that can handle juicing copious amounts of fruits and vegetables at a time without jamming, and that will save me time in the long haul. There's nothing more annoying than having something get jammed in your juicer and you having to take it out, clean the juicer, and then start juicing all over again. It always feels like a disaster and it's super frustrating if it ever happens. I rarely have that happen with the J2 and it's because it has such a wide open hopper and because of the self-feeding technology that it has that that rarely happens. I believe that when we're juicing, the goal should be to minimize our prep, our effort, and our time. If that's the case, then the J2 juicer does a better job of all those things because you spend less time preparing because you can throw in more whole ingredients into the hopper than you could the H310, which is essentially less effort than the H310, which you would have to fill up this hopper multiple times, put in more effort to yield the same amount of juice. And because you are putting in more effort into loading this hopper continuously, that's more of your time. The Nama J2 juicer saves you more prep, effort, and time simply because it has a larger hopper at the top and it's intended for batch juicing specifically. Another thing I'd like to point out is the manual says to only run the H310 for 15 minutes at a time, whereas when I use the Nama J2 juicer, I have it on for at least an hour and it never burns out. One other difference that I'd like to point out here is that the H310 just has this little flap at the top. There's no open hole here, whereas the Nama J2 has a hole at the top. So you can have a continuous self-feeding loading experience here if you'd like, which would save you even more time. You'd have to wait for this to finish processing and then load it again, whereas this one you can just keep adding in if you're ready. I really want to emphasize the point that this is a compact juicer and compact juicers are not ideal for batch juicing or for juicing large amounts of juice. Now, this is mainly important for my audience here because many of you have been on this journey with me for a long time and we're all used to drinking 16 to 32 ounces of juice. We're used to juicing a lot. We're not used to drinking just a half to one cup of juice at a time. So if you were looking to get a new juicer and ideally you were looking to get the juicer that would yield you the most with the least amount of effort, the Nama J2 is the best choice. I created a whole YouTube video on how to batch juice and why I think it is so essential. For those of you who want to drink juice throughout the entire week, batch juicing is amazing because the Nama J2 is a slow cold press juicer. This one is too, um, but when you batch juice and you make five to 10 jars of juice at a time, these juices do not oxidize as slowly. The quality is so amazing. You can keep them in a sealed tight glass container for up to three to five days and you can drink fresh juice throughout the week. Imagine 
not having to clean your juicer every day, but just having to clean it once or twice a week. Batch juicing is amazing for that. For those of you who are trying to get on the juicing train and to add more fresh juices into your daily routine, batch juicing is where it's at. I'll include the link for that below. And I even have a whole blog post on batch juicing and how you can get started. That's in the description for you. My last big takeaway here, and I know I've touched on this a little bit, but I think it's important to mention again, is that the whole point of juicing is to create new healthy habits. And in order to encourage the dedication and consistency of healthy habits, you need to have a machine in your kitchen that will hold this for you, will hold you accountable, and will encourage you to do so. You wanna get excited about juicing every day. And if it becomes something that you dread, you will let go of that healthy habit so quickly. You'll think that you have failed and you won't feel good about yourself. That being said, the goal is for you to achieve more success in juicing, in eating healthier, so that you can reach your goals. The Hiram H310 will require more prep from you, more effort, and more time. Between both of these juicers, it's simply not the easier juicer to use. What I love about this juicer and what I love most about the Nama family and their team is that they literally crafted and built this juicer with the intention of making juicing easier for you and to encourage more people to go plant-based. How cool is that? Literally, this juicer was made to help more people go plant-based. I am in full support of that. When you're trying to achieve a healthier lifestyle or make a big change in your life or go plant-based, having the right tools in your home is a game changer. It can literally make or break your entire journey. That can be the difference between somebody continuing on their plant-based journey or giving up because they get frustrated. Those are my big takeaway points and those are the simple facts in comparing the Nama J2 juicer with the Huron H310. So if you are looking to get either of these juicers, I hope that this video will help you to make the right decision for you. If you're looking for juicing recipes, check out some of the videos on my YouTube channel. I have so many juicing recipes here for you to enjoy. I also have a fully raw recipe app and I have more than 450 raw vegan recipes on my app. So many of those are juicing recipes. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play. The initial download is free and then after that you can choose between a monthly or a yearly subscription and you can jump in and have fun juicing. If you're looking to get a new juicer, my recommendation would be to get a Nama J2 juicer. I love this juicer. It saves me time, effort, and prep, as I've explained in this video. And if you use the code FULLYRAW55, you will get $55 off the Nama J2, and I've included that link below for you in the description. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more juiciness to come. I thank you all so much for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Sending you my hugs and my love.